team that has qualified so far, we have a 15 member uh, Ghana team that is going to represent us in Japan. Uh, out of the 15, uh, 10 of them are currently in the USA doing their pre games before the main Tokyo uh, Olympic Games itself. And they are going to be stay there and have their pre games for the 24 days before they join their colleagues who are going to leave this evening to Japan. Uh, f five of them are here to be, uh, just to get your blessing before they take off. But I'll let the GOC president, Mr. Ben Nomansa, introduce them first. Then before he gives his message, then you can give them your blessing before they take off. They've promised that they are going there to raise the flag of Ghana high. I visited them when they, whilst they were in camp at Bukum Emporium on behalf of you. I went and visited them and had interaction just to encourage them to put up their best to be able to represent us camp uh, the games. So, Mr. Ben Numansa, you can take it from there. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And thank you uh, very much for having us in your office today. Next part, you're very, very busy uh, schedule. Um, as far well as I can recollect, this is uh, the first time that before a continuous travels out, uh, the father of the nation is asked them to come and see him and give them uh, his blessing before they leave. So, Mr. Your Mr. Excellency, thank you very, very much for the love you've shown for uh, Ghana sports and especially for these young boys and girls. Uh, uh, I'm very close to them and I know what it means to them to come and see uh, the father of our country, the president, before they leave. It means a world of uh, blessing to these young boys and girls. And Your Excellency, we're very grateful to you uh, for having us here. As the Honorable Minister has said, Ghana has qualified about 15 athletes for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a few of them who were based outside and camping and training outside. We have qualified in four disciplines. Uh, we're doing athletics, uh, the track and field, we also qualified in swimming, Your Excellency. We also qualified to participate in judo, and we've also qualified to participate in boxing, and then also weightlifting, Your Excellency. I know the love you have for weightlifting. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Your Excellency, uh, today we have four of the athletes who have qualified uh, with us here, and I will introduce them to you. Uh, the rest of the team are based outside and they will join once we move to Tokyo uh, to the games proper. Your Excellency, we have with us today the captain of the national boxing team. They call themselves the Black Bombers. And he's in the person of Mr. Sullivan Tete. <coughs> and thank you. Next, after Mr. Suleiman Tete, we have another very promising boxer. Uh, by the name Samuel Techi. Yes. And we have one boxer with us uh, who the family name, uh, Your Excellency, you notice that is a sensation in Ghana boxing. Uh, the brother had beaten uh, Buku Banku not too long ago, um, so it's in their blood. We have Shaku Samad here with us, Your Excellency. And then finally, Your Excellency, the only weightlifter who was qualified to represent Ghana at the Olympic Games, uh, Mr. Christian Amoa, is also here with us. Yeah. Together. Oh, there are three of them, say. There are three, three boxes, say. Samuel Tete, uh, Samuel, Suleiman Tete, Samuel Techi, and then Shaku Samad. And the weightlifter is Mr. Christian Amoa. Your Excellency, we have with the team the coach of the national team who has been training both our amateur boxers and our professional boxers, uh, Mr. Asari. So, Your Excellency, these are your yes, your uh, sons who have qualified for the games. With us on the team as well, uh, Your Excellency, is the man who has been working behind the scenes to make sure that all these boxers get the opportunity to go and compete and qualify. And he's the president of Ghana Boxing, uh, Mr. George Lamte. Yes. Your Excellency, our mission to Tokyo will be led by uh, the president of Ghana Golf, who is in the person of 
Mr. Mike Agri, and we call him the chef de mission for Team Ghana. Okay. Um, with me also here, Your Excellency, is the Secretary General for the Ghana Olympic Committee, Mr. Mohamed Sanu. Yes. So, Excellency, these are the delegations that are here today, and as the Honorable Minister said, uh, just to get your blessing, and as I said earlier on, for most of these boys, it means a word of blessing to them. Uh, no financial reward at this moment would even be bigger than what they are getting from you today. And we're very appreciative of that. And Your Excellency, thank you very much for receiving us once again. Uh, recently, of the marvelous exploits of one of our topmost athletes called Mr. Benjamin Azamati. Uh, he's going to be the sensation of the Olympics. In addition to Mr. Azamati, there are other athletes who have qualified from our track and, and, and track and field teams. And they are uh, Miss Nadia Eke, Mr. Joseph Paul Amwa, Mr. Joseph Menu, Mr. Shen Safu Enchi. And for our swimming team, we have qualified two athletes, and they are Abiku Jackson and Unilis. Techi. They are both based outside. We've also qualified one judo judo cut in the person of uh, Sansil Anani. There are two other athletes who will be joining the quartet team just in case any of them has to has a problem. And they are we call them the alternate uh, athletes who have also qualified to join their team. And they are Mr. Emmanuel Yeboa and then Mr. Safo Ansan. So this makes up the full complement of the 15 member delegation or at least who have qualified to represent our country in Tokyo, Japan. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And the President of Ghana's Olympic Committee, Secretary, delegate, uh, team leader, members of the team, you're all very welcome to Jubilee House, which is the seat of the presidency of our country. And I'm really, really happy to have you here. You carry our hopes for a good performance. I know it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very competitive. You're going to meet your peers from around the world who are, as, like you, also determined to acquit themselves well for their countries and for themselves. But I have a lot of confidence in Ghanaian athletes and sportsmen. And wherever we are in the world, we shine. We hear of our young man in America who's already setting all kinds of records over there. And the boxers, you know that you have a big tradition in this country. Both amateur and professional boxing in Ghana has a rich history. One of my contemporaries well, the Rome, did very well at the Rome Olympics, that's Eddie Blay, who's the elder brother of the chairman of our party, Freddie Blay's elder brother. He came home with a bronze, I believe, as a, what, a welterweight, I think he was at that time. But the, the boxers, when they were introduced, I wasn't told what your weights are. What, what? Shamad, what, what are you? Fly weight, okay. okay. Feather weight, okay. But these are the, the the categories where we've always done very well: fly weight, feather weight, yeah. and bantam weight. Yeah, and even the the light heavyweight. But I have to wish you the very best of luck when you go there. Uh, you cannot do better than your best, but at least do your best. And I'm sure that your best is going to be good enough to bring home a medal or two for us. The mask you're wearing tells you about the situation we are in the world today. And where you're going, they have quite a big problem there. So also be very careful. Take very good care of yourselves. Follow the protocols, the health and COVID protocols, and, and, and don't go and get contaminated over there and ruin your Olympic Games. So you have to look after yourselves very well 
and uh, we will be here, we'll be cheering you on. Now I've got all these disciplines, weightlifting, boxing, judo, swimming, and athletics. I'll be following it very, very keenly. If you hear some screams, it will be from me here in Ghana, shouting for you over there, <laughs> over there. So I wish you the very, very best of luck. And remember that all 30, 31 million people of us here will be shouting for you and, and urging you on and willing you to do well for yourselves and for the country. The very best of luck to you. And I'm hoping that when you come back, you bring back a medal or two to come and show me here that uh, you went and you succeeded. Uh, so well done and good luck. Say a very big thank you to you for your words of encouragement. Like I said, this has never happened as far as I can remember. And I'm sure uh, with the kind of motivation you've given these young boys and girls, uh, they are going to, as we put it, die for Mother Ghana, and they'll come back glorious and come and visit you again with medals. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. What the team leader? Golf did not qualify. Golf is, is golf an Olympic game? No. It is. But we don't have anybody playing. Not yet. Not yet. It's good. Okay. <laughs>